what's going on guys and in this video I'm going to show you how to create a thumbs up checkbox using HTML and CSS. So starting off with our HTML file I have this div here which has the class name of checkbox and then the input tag here which has type of checkbox which is this box here which you can click and then you can see a tick. Anyway after that I have this icon of this thumbs up since this is gonna be a thumbs up checkbox and you can see some scripts here so this is a link to my HTML I mean CSS file and this script here is a CDN which means a content delivery network so here you can see this is the website from which I downloaded this icon so in order to get into it, you can click here, usage, and then it will show you how to install it and about what what's behind it, how it's working. So I'll put a link in the description below so you can check this out. And it's a really cool website. You can get a whole lot of icons here to choose from. And I have just simply copied and pasted it. You don't need to install or download anything into your personal computer you can just get it from internet so you should have internet on i mean it's basically everything anyway i'm just speaking some gibberish to now gibberish now uh, let's get in, get into our code so here in my css i have given a given the body a background color of this gray you can pick any color you want and now it's time for our main code so here i have the checkbox and i am gonna style it so check sorry check box and i am gonna give it position relative so these two always be joined together so they are relatives and then I need to center it. For that, I'm gonna use display flex and then justify content center and align items center. So now we can see it's only aligned vertically. So for aligning it, uh, sorry, for aligning it vertically, you need to give it a height. So without any specified height, it cannot be aligned. So since this checkbox is a div, we don't need to specify any width. So I am going to give it a 100 VH. There we go. Now, if you need to get rid of this scroll bar here, you just need to give it a overflow hidden. Sorry, not this, to the body. So overflow hidden. So that gets rid of the scroll wheel here I mean scro scroll bar and now it's time to customize our this checkbox so this is simple and plain doesn't look that doesn't look that good to be honest so we are gonna change that problem yeah, we need to put input and then specify the type which is gonna be check so I'm going to define the type here as the checkbox and then I'm going to start doing my work which is customizing it. So first of all I am going to increase its height and width but before that you need to get rid of this tick and the background being blue. So for that you need to give it appearance none. So there won't be anything appear after you click it. So basically this is non-existent, but don't worry. It will come back. We just need to specify the height to a hundred pixels, which is my personal preference. And then a width, sorry, width of hundred pixels. Oh, I just realized um, I need to increase this 
I need to zoom into my code so that you guys can clearly read, read it clearly. So there you go. I hope you can see it a little more cl clearly now. So I need to give it a background color of white. Actually, I'm not going to give it white. I am going to use my color picker to give it a lighter shade of gray. There you go. That might be good. So there you go. You can see it right there. And then also a border radius, which is going to be 50%. There you go. It's looking nice now. And the next thing I'm going to do is to customize our <laughs> thumbs. So for that, I have given it a class of thumbs up. Uh, so I'm going to use T thumbs up. And sorry, uh, I forgot to do the edge there. My bad. <laughs> and give it the position relative. So it's going to be, I mean, sorry, absolute position. Absolute. So it's going to be independent now. And it should overlap with our checkbox right here. It looks nice now. Or at least it is going to look nice if i am if i increase its font size so actually basically um an icon works like a font it's actually treated like a font in html so you can use color and font size all that properties of text for this icon so here i am gonna give it a font size of 35 maybe 35 pixels all right i guess that's enough and then a color of white. Here I'm gonna use pure white. There you go, it's looking a little nice now. And I think I can use some box radius. Now, I'm just kidding. Um, I'm just gonna leave it at that. And now I'm gonna give it um, style it when I click it so nothing happens if I click it now but I can change that so for that I am gonna use the checked pseudo class so for that so it goes like this um, input then type equals checkbox and then after that a colon and then check There you go. And inside that, I want this to be green after I click it. So the background color is going to be a green. So I can fine tune it here. I think this green would be nice. There we go. And now I'm also going to give it a transition of 0.3 seconds and then I'm gonna apply it to all so that everything will be affected by it if I add something in the future so there you go and yeah now it's looking great and working great I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something new in the way if you like this kind of content consider subscribing to my channel and like this video if you like it so much. I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, goodbye.